Hi everyone, and welcome to my channel. Today, we're going to be talking about the Dead Sea region, a unique and fascinating landscape located in the Jordan Rift Valley. The Dead Sea region is home to the Dead Sea, the saltiest lake in the world. The lake is so salty that no fish or other aquatic life can survive in it. However, the Dead Sea is home to a variety of unique bacteria and algae. The Dead Sea region is also known for its mineral-rich mud, which is said to have therapeutic properties. The region is a popular tourist destination for people who want to experience the unique Dead Sea environment and to benefit from the mud's therapeutic properties. In this video, we'll be taking a look at some of the best things to see and do in the Dead Sea region. We'll also be discussing the region's history, culture, and tourism industry. Things to see and do in the Dead Sea region. Float in the Dead Sea. The Dead Sea is so salty that it is impossible to sink. Floating in the Dead Sea is a unique and unforgettable experience. Apply Dead Sea Mud. Dead Sea Mud is said to have a number of therapeutic properties, including relieving skin conditions and reducing muscle pain. Visit Masada. Masada is a mountaintop fortress that is located on the western shore of the Dead Sea. The fortress was built by King Herod the Great in the 1st century BC. Masada is a popular tourist destination for its stunning views and its historical significance. Visit Qumran. Qumran is a site located on the northwestern shore of the Dead Sea where the Dead Sea Scrolls were discovered in 1947. The Dead Sea Scrolls are a collection of ancient Jewish religious texts that date back to the 2nd century BC. Visit Ein Gedi. Ein Gedi is a nature reserve located on the western shore of the Dead Sea. The reserve is home to a variety of plants and animals, as well as waterfalls and hot springs. History of the Dead Sea Region The Dead Sea Region has a long and rich history. The region has been inhabited by humans for thousands of years. The Dead Sea region is mentioned in the Bible, and it was once home to a number of important historical figures, including King David and King Herod the Great. The Dead Sea region has also been the site of a number of important historical events. In 1947, the Dead Sea Scrolls were discovered in Qumran. In 1967, the Six-Day War was fought in the Dead Sea region. Culture of the Dead Sea region The Dead Sea region is a multicultural region that is home to people of different faiths and backgrounds. The majority of the population in the Dead Sea region is Arab. There is also a significant Jewish population in the Dead Sea region. The Dead Sea region is a popular tourist destination, and the region's economy is largely based on tourism. The Dead Sea region is also home to a number of important industries, including agriculture, mining, and manufacturing. Tourism in the Dead Sea region. The Dead Sea region is a popular tourist destination for people all over the world. Tourists come to the Dead Sea region to experience the unique Dead Sea environment, to benefit from the mud's therapeutic properties, and to visit the region's historical and cultural attractions. The Dead Sea region is home to a variety of hotels, resorts, and spas. The region is also home to a number of restaurants and shops. The Dead Sea region is a unique and fascinating landscape with something to offer everyone. The region is home to the Dead Sea, the saltiest lake in the world, as well as a variety of historical and cultural attractions. The Dead Sea region is also a popular tourist destination for people who want to experience the unique Dead Sea environment and to benefit from the mud's therapeutic properties. I hope you enjoyed this video about the Dead Sea region. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching.